Hey guys, it's almost an automatic response. You're walking out to the car, you're passing your neighbor, you're going into church, you're seeing your friend or your brother, you're going into a airport and you see somebody and the question becomes, hey, how are you doing? And almost an automatic response is good. How are you? Good. And so do we really mean that? And in a sense, is good okay or is good not okay? And I guess it depends and it's relative, right? So is if it, you're doing good, but you could be doing better or you're doing good, but you could be best. We don't want to camp out in this level of contentment where we're going through a period of mediocrity. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. And it's not true. You know, Paul had something to say in his letter to the Philippians, and I wanted to read it to you. It's chapter 3, and it's verse 13, and it says this, No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize, which Christ, through Jesus, is calling us. That we, Paul says that we forget what's behind. We're pressing forward to what's ahead. We're looking forward to that best life that God would have for us. Not that we would drift and to flow to what is easy or good in the sense. It's the only time that in that sense, good is not the best for us. I want to encourage you to pursue the best life that God would have for you to be able to say, I'm doing great. I mean, not to be dishonest, but to be pressing forward to grab hold of what God has grabbed hold of you for.